Hello Aries. I hope you're all doing well. So some of you guys are confused about your admission payments, how to pay or go about the admission payment. So a uh, few of you have asked that I clarify things for you. So that is what you are doing in this video where you get your message, what are you supposed to do? So let's dive right in. All right. So first thing, your admission is temporal. It's temporal because you have to commit. You have to pay the amount in your message to confirm that you are really going to come to that school because chances are you may be offered admission in another school so you might not choose that school to go to so if you go and pay or even if you can't afford the amount in the message if you go to the school to negotiate then they know you will be coming to that school and they will hold your slot for you. I've said this in previous videos, but that is what the temporal admission means, okay? Every school decides how they want to receive their payment, either by a banker's draft, a paying slip, or using e-pay. So if the school wants you to pay via paying slip, then they'll give you the account number, like in this message from Winnibar. You'll be giving the name on the account that you are supposed to pay into the account number and the branch so when you get to the bank you just ask for a deposit sheet or a deposit slip they will give you a pink deposit slip you're supposed to get at least two two deposit slips or even three in this case you can take three so and then you feel it's already carbonated so when you feel it the two that are beneath the one you are writing on will duplicate okay so then you pay in and this payment you can make it anywhere in ghana any gcb bank in ghana you don't have to go to where the school is to make this payment if the school says you should pay by banker's draft then you go they have a different paper uh, a different sheets that they use so when you ask the receptionist when you ask the receptionist at the bank they will direct you on which form you should fill and with this one they will give you a printout of the banker's draft bearing the school name and everything every detail that you are supposed to use in doing the banker's draft you do that they will give you that okay and same thing applies to the epay so just go with your funds to the bank a lot of the schools are gcb account holders so you go to the bank and then you make the payment now after making the payment you have to go back to the school because they are expecting a lot of payments or they are expecting that a lot of people will pay but the fact that you have paid doesn't mean that they know that you ama or you akosie japon <laughs> hey why did i say akosie japon <laughs> have paid in to their accounts and so that means you'll be coming to the school no you have to take the banker's draft or the paying slip to the school and get an official document or an official receipt. And that payment you made is part of the school fees. It's not the full school fees you are going to pay. So when you get to the school to take the actual receipt or official receipt of the school, that is where they'll give you your admission letter. They'll give you the full bill that you are supposed to pay and then you move on from there. So don't go and make the payment at the bank and sit at home. We don't know that you have made any payment chances are the bank will not even prompt the school early so nobody knows you're going to pay just after paying go to the school take your receipt get your admission letter get your bill your full bill and also your prospectus everything that you are supposed to buy before going to school all right and when you go to take your receipt and your admission letter that's when they will give you the date you're supposed to start school so for those of you who have been asking me when are we starting school? When are we starting school? I can give you a general idea that at least they are on vacation now. So by November, December, school will reopen and you might go with them. Uh, you might go with the second years and third years. But it's when you go back to the school to take your receipt and admission letter that you hear and confirm the dates that you are going to your school and since you are gathering your accoutrements to go to school what this video next is to guide you on some few things you should get when preparing to go to school that are essential and i also guide you on some things not to do and if you are going as a day student then watch this video next because it will also help you buy the things that you need 